Man, listen, today's episode of Hige Hero surprised the living hell out of me. Not only did we get introduced to the guy that we know who he is, right? We know, we know who he is. We can tell, we, we can correlate the imagery. We can correlate it. Goto surprised me the most because I didn't realize how mysterious she likes to play herself. That's the thing that caught me off guard, right? That was probably the most shocking thing next to being introduced to that guy and then seeing Sayu like really break down about what's going on with her, like inside. Thing that's hard for her to talk about and hard for her to process and handle all in that vein, right? I think that's what was sick about it. But more is on my YouTube channel. So go check that out. Go check that out. Anyways, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Damo Senpai. And we are here to review episode five of Hige Hero. We got seven episodes left, man. What else can we get introduced to that's going to surprise us more than what we was introduced to at the end of the episode? If you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, make sure you go down below. Hit that link in the description or the red subscribe button. Either one to help me towards that cause of reaching my summertime goal which is 3k and my end of year goal which is 10k so the more y'all help the more we can do and if you're coming over from tiktok and or seeing this through tiktok make sure y'all let me know down in the comment section below hit that link tree the link tree is more than likely the most important way to get to me right like to get a hold of me because it takes you to my tiktok it takes you to my twitter it takes you to my twitch crazy that those all start with t's takes you to my youtubes and it, and it even helps you it even helps you subscribe which is free i have to make sure i reiterate that every video for anybody who's brand new and potentially watching this subscribing to the channel and supporting me is 100 free you're not paying for anything you're just supporting somebody who has bigger aspirations than what's being shown here my dreams and aspirations are huge and i'm only doing what i can to get to them but yeah man if you guys want to support me please consider subscribing make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff those are all the things you should be doing as you watch this video. But let's get to the real stuff, right? Let's get to why we're really here. Goto-san is a hero. She is portraying herself as quite the support character. Now, I seen somebody in one of my TikTok comments talking about this saying, you know, Goto isn't what she lets on to be. You know, she's really, she's really down to earth and she's really all for Yoshida, which is the perfect segue into this because she explains that today. She says she likes being mysterious, but she's been into Yoshida, you know, since he got to the company. All of that is important because the same way that Yoshida has Sayu best interest at heart Sayu has Yoshida's best interest at heart so Sayu questioning and basically interrogating Goto was hella important because she wants to see if she has Yoshida's best interest at heart it's funny that Yoshida can feel the tension in the room right as soon as Goto was brought to the crib opened the door he could feel the tension between Sayu and Goto granted it's not what it seemed to be it's more so women playing chess in their brain that's what I consider that that whole situation to be and it's crazy that you could cut the tension with a knife it made Yoshida so uncomfortable that he had to go to the bathroom in order to like process what the hell was going on and give them some space they had some things that they weren't saying but they were saying with their expression so essentially Sayu just sent Yoshida off to go get some stuff you know go get some stuff quote unquote in order to give them some time to talk which that leads into Yoshida running into Mishima which we'll get into that in a little bit but let's talk Talk about the conversation between Goto and Sayu because it's really important to highlight a lot of what's going on. Goto, as a grown woman, can tell just what Sayu is dealing with. Granted, when Sayu got into the deep shit about, you know, sleeping around with a bunch of men just to have a place to say, that really hit Goto in her core because if she is a virgin like she says she is, hearing all of this is breathtaking, as you can see with her expressions, right? That was what was telling about that situation so that showed me a lot more about goto than i already knew to piggyback off what i said earlier about goto presenting herself to be a better support character it's more so the simple fact that she's trying to embed in sayu's head like okay so what's going on right now is not the best situation you're staying at a grown man's house which could potentially get him in trouble legal battles all that stuff but at the same time i can see that you're going 
going through something and you haven't quite figured it out yet which if we fast forward to the end of the episode goto says something along the lines of please continue to look at the sayu and watch over her because she doesn't need there's a lot of things about herself that she doesn't understand yet the way this shit is written is so good because we're really watching the growth of two people and it's going so the support characters are adding so much flavor to the character development but yeah man sayu broke down sayu broke down because goto hit her where it hurts like look you're a high school girl and that it's that label is going to be hard to shake until you grow right until you're a grown woman so you have to figure out your you can only be a high school girl for so long i need you to figure that out and i'm gonna be here to support you she said that without saying it right like i'm gonna be here to support you if you ever need anything i got you if you want to talk if you need to come over and chillax i got you that's a link right that's a link between goto and yoshida i know i'm over here going crazy with the the whole conversation between them two but i think it's really important to highlight what was going on there because that is gonna that's gonna rear its head later on because because of what we've seen at the end of the episode but let's get to mishima being a stalker man mishima was stalking yoshida which was absolutely hilarious because you know she really she really really likes yoshida she let him know that what was that last episode the episode before that yeah it was the episode before that when uh sayu ran away from the house and met with mishima mishima was letting yoshida know like you're way too nice dude and you know what they say about really really nice people they don't get what they want at the end and it's so cool that mishima was being hella honest about the situation because it's just like what's what is your priority here are you gonna prioritize getting sayu together and helping her you know get out into this world and actually live her life as opposed to being sheltered here and just continue continuing to run around from house to house or are you going to prioritize getting with goto who has obviously made it clear how she feels about yoshida right yoshida has quite the situation on his hands you can say that without saying it right you see that i think yoshida was not processing that properly either first of all the environment with mishima exploding like she was dude it's hard to process what she's saying with everybody around you assuming that you know this is like a couple's fight that's what it looked like everybody that was at that market was assuming the whole little marketplace and I I think it was important that conversation was super cool too because like i said it's helping yoshi to understand like the seriousness and i'm glad that the the title of this episode is reality it's helping him realize like the the seriousness of the situation like it's a reality check mishima's letting him know like look you got to learn what to prioritize and goto is letting sayu know you know you got to prioritize getting a and b together for c to happen i think that I think that the title of this episode was right on the money and let's get to what's really going on right let's get to the let's get to the meat and potatoes because the ending i'm calling it now we know that that is the guy that we saw sayu with in episode two right i'm assuming that is the guy same hair color voice pattern is the same don't ask how i'm adept at picking up voices because you know after watching anime for so long you're able to put two and two together about shit so that made the most sense what makes this whole thing crazy is that they work at the same place oh man this is gonna make for a super messy situation because she's gonna come to work see him and see her homie and she's gonna be like oh shit this is not good this is not good at all what are we gonna do which is which leads into those two hanging out in the next episode we see the we seen the preview for next episode and we seen those two hanging out so there's gonna be some conversation had about got the dude that's there we don't even know his name i mean it's not important because fuck that guy right fuck that guy this is all setting up for some interesting plot twists and crazy shit going on but that's all i have for today's episode so let me know if there was something that I missed or in the comment section as well. Let me know if there was something that was left out of the manga that was very important. Like if it was very important to very integral to the story, let me know because I'm always interested in acquiring more information about this anime because the more I know, the better and the better analysis I can give per episode and per video. If you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, make sure you go down below, hit the link in the description, the link tree, man. Hit that link tree, bro. Hit the link tree. It's hella important if you want to support me on my way to producing daily content hit that coffee man just start donating but the most important part is subscribing because that's free that is the important that's the the most important thing to take away from this but as always it's your boy damo senpai and i will see you guys in the next video